when are you going to get time to go after Kenny Omega? Because you're going to his home turf to take him on. And right now, people are saying um, he's one of the best wrestlers on the planet next to my friend who's sitting over here, too. Well, like that, the whole concept of that match, I really enjoyed it because uh, I didn't think, I didn't, uh, I knew. Have you already done it? No, 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 it's okay. January 4th, okay. but putting it together. Uh, it's a match that nobody thought was going to happen. And much like almost like a Mayweather McGregor situation where it's two guys from two different worlds that like well they it'd be great but they'll never do it. And when it gets announced, they're like, Holy smokes, they're doing it. And that's kind of what, what the whole premise of it was and why it interests me and why I really thought it'd be cool to do it because no one expects it. I like doing stuff like that. I like surprising people. I like giving people some excitement that you know not saying incitement in their lives they don't have some but it is. It's, I like giving people uh, a little bit more of a smile and a little more of a buzz and that feeling you get when something cool is going to happen. Like the new Star Wars movie comes out in a couple weeks. We're all so excited. That's what I like to do for people that enjoy my work. Like what's Jericho? Jericho's going to New Japan against Kenny Omega? Are you kidding me? This is going to be great. What a huge idea. What a huge match and uh that's why I, I i went for it and it was not my idea but it was pitched to me almost as a joke but i wasn't laughing and that's kind of what started the ball rolling back in june to finally get the deal done for uh, october is when we finally got it done so it wasn't an easy deal but we got it and uh, once we got it we knew it was going to be big